Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is September 27th, 2018, and we're looking at a live feed. I mean, what we're looking at right now is in Germany, right now. This is the present time. Look, this says current time. You can translate it to English. This is over in Germany, current, right now. What you're going to see next ought to take you back a little bit because. So here comes the massive shadow coming into view and I will play the time lapse it's 4 o'clock 3.30 you guys see that? here it comes down out of the sky getting darker and moving now for the sake of time let's do the time lapse the reason why it just sits there is because it is going through a set of lenses I will explain later, but let's just watch this for now, and I'll show you the craziness, explain the craziness in the skies. I thought you guys like to see this live. Download it. So please be patient. You will not be disappointed. And uh, by the way, I'm sorry about yesterday's a live stream that got deleted because at the last minute I got a copyright strike just for clicking on a YouTube channel the last couple of minutes try to download it and modify it I still have it I don't know if I want to bother uploading it but at the end of the video I'll try and give you the summary about the two limit limit warning okay watch this And if you missed anything, don't worry. You can see it rising in the sky. It looks a little jittery in the sky. That's because it's bouncing over a set of lenses. I'll explain later. We're going to see a hint of these lasers. Not lasers, lenses. When the sun comes up over the sky, we can start to see these cluster of overlapping lenses that we're seeing on a lot of these cameras when they're directly facing the, the camera. So for the sake, I'm going to speed this up. Because what we're going to see next is also pretty amazing. And then I'm also going to explain the lens array into further detail and more evidence of it. It's pretty cool. More concrete proof that we're seeing the FAA cameras. Some of you have already oh, have seen this. So, all right. So I'll leave a link for this. You can go back and hit this little time button and watch it yourself. So here is the footage that I caught. Let's watch that again. I have more control of this footage. See how it... It doesn't just snap though. Remember, these are 30 minute time frames, so it will move. But it does jump from lens to lens. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Those little smaller lenses. Look at that. And you see how it disappears. Okay. Move the camera forward a little bit. And we could almost see evidence of these overlapping lenses here, but we're also going to see them on two other places. We see the hints of the double-edged lens here. Let's keep scroll forward. Yeah, look at that. See all see the effects of those micro those lenses. Well, again, I'll show you, but I want to show you the best first. I want to tease you. This is get right into the good stuff. I'm going to watch the shadow pop up. You can catch it near the end here. It's a not as faint. It's not as dark as the last ones. Ah, I must have missed it. Well, you can go back and watch it yourself. I thought that was pretty impressive. Anyways, the first part of it. <laughs> okay, so before I uh, show you any more of these photos, because of the insanity that we're looking at. Let's uh, kind of explain 
a detail how I first discovered it and what it is that we're looking at. So I'm going to jump to a YouTube channel. And this is um, Michael Lindgren. Thank you very much. He showed up in the live stream and told me that I could use this and wanted to show the world this catch of these perfect overlapping lenses that show up on the FAA cameras. <clears throat> Look at that. Perfect. These are the same lenses I believe that we're going to see in the next footage. A little close up. See how they're all spotted in red too, right? And they appear to be in front of the sun simulator. Okay? They're the ones that are showing this. They're fixed. Notice it doesn't follow the sun. But look at these smaller ones right here. That is indeed the same ones that we see. We keep seeing. These are the ones why we see the scattered light. Look at that. I've shown this sun simulator so many times. Look at the white light. And it just kind of beating a dead horse. Most people would wake up to this reality. Because he's just not filtering out the red light. It's a smaller wave with a larger magnetic field. Not perfect circles that appear also in these time lapse. The white, because of the heat signature of the planet, is being picked up on these cameras that were invisible to the naked eye because we can't see that light. Here we see the scattered light here as well. That's why we see the same scattered images throughout the entire thing. Why it diffuses light like that help to understand this technology and what they're doing to keep us from seeing it. This was all taken the same day. That's another couple of good shots for you. I like this one was pretty neat. Good. And I got one even more jaw dropping. Here we go. This one here was pretty cool. Look at this just popped up. This planet was just flying by. It was just one frame. But a bit. See how the planet shows up here? Goes through the lens. Casts the red light that didn't that was went straight through that filter. That's why we see that light. One frame. What could possibly cause that to happen, folks? Crazy. I'm gonna show you a diagram of how this works. Here's the diagram that I drew up. Needs a little more work, kind of crude conceptually. So we basically have lenses here that are following, being followed by a levitation craft, keeping them always in the position of the of the planetary objects they're hiding, like this one out here. So there's probably deeper one. These ones need to be overlapping smaller lenses. Let's kind of do this in order. Um, <clears throat> These are not the size, but they were overlapping lenses. This adhered to be where the simu sun simulator is, and this is the sun. And they put this up here, sun simulator. This is orbiting around the Earth. The Earth orbits around this, and this would be the planetary object, the main purpose. So this gets an eclipse, casts a shadow on the Earth. People would freak out because it wasn't the moon. So let's just keep a light shining in the sky and with this funny-looking thing. I've explained the sun simulator so many times. Please just go back and watch the more detail on the path of light and how this works. This is the black dot and the cube that spins in front of it. Yeah. Okay. So in yesterday's video, the live stream that I made when I made it, I was gave it a, um, a two-minute warning because I think that's the cryptic code that they gave us. It's just really odd. So on October 3rd, it hasn't happened yet. A presidential text alert. Presidential alert. Presidential. Never been done before. FEMA will conduct a test. An integrated work system. It's going to take place. It was supposed to be on the 20th. Okay? It hasn't happened yet. It was postponed. Now it's going to be this Wednesday. 2.18 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay? That's going to be... You could do your own time zones there. It's going to be 11.18 my time, but 2.18, why not Pacific time? Well, I think they really like putting these weird numbers up there. Just kind of a strange set of numbers, really. Well, let me uh, put my tinfoil hat on and entertain you what I think may happen, because this falls 
just <clears throat> right Donald Trump Vice President Pence he sends out this alert seven days before the true Feast of Trumpets it Feast of Trumpets has always been a fall feast it was fall on September 23rd it's the first full m new moon in the fall and that's gonna be in October uh, yeah okay with that being said let's talk about the nuclear football what is that we got nuclear right nuclear football known as the atomic football president's emergency satchel the black box this guy right here has all the nuclear codes let's go down to this you know they could have weighed this thing any much how much does it weigh 45 pounds and how many presidents we had what president the 45th president you know we've got people impeach 45 45th president right I'm all for Trump by the way don't get me wrong I'm so glad he made it okay I voted for him I'm just saying just pointing this out so it's 2018 nuclear football how about the doomsday clock two minutes to midnight when did they do this well this is the atomic time clock they set the clock from two and a half minutes to midnight to two minutes to midnight on July excuse January 25th 2018 that's when they wound it up on the 25th of January in this year the year 2015 hmm. where am I going with all this text alert they're setting the stage let me show you how this guy Ken Peters had a vision a couple of decades ago let's hear what he had to say a telephone radio visual communication device I was able to see into many many homes in the United States there was uh, a very unusual event that happened television uh, telephone radio and this other unusual communication device I was able to see into many many homes in the United States these white boxes that were about this big that looked to be like televisions and were, when I saw these they were in nearly every single home in the US and uh, they would have words written across them and occasionally it would almost look as though television was playing through them all of those uh, media devices were shut down for about a two-week period I know now that what I was seeing was personal computers in people's homes two-week period you catch that that was before these flat screen TVs listen to the rest of it real short after about two weeks of time television and radio began to be back up and running however it was completely two different than what was previously uh, being broadcast the broadcasts were being bombarded nearly everywhere and they were depicting a soon to come new government and leadership a man would be emerging to lead us the man finally came on the scene and he spoke with great eloquence I wrote these things down exactly as I saw them he spoke he spoke with great eloquence and charisma he was soothing and promised answers to all current issues this man was smooth and extremely convincing able to solve nearly all problems he was a consummate communicator and he explained how this removal of people was God's judgment upon them this rattled me in the dream I, I did not understand his position let me tell you so you can kind of comprehend where I'm coming from not being those projector televisions you know with the three different colors pizza parlors had those projector televisions you know with the three different colors that would project an image but large screen televisions weren't out folks and neither was 24-hour news everywhere the populace met big screen televisions were pumping this message I travel a lot all over the place and everywhere I go where the populace meets now they have televisions restaurants have them I've been to some restaurants where you have a television right at your table so you're keeping up with everything airports everywhere you go everywhere the populace meets you're being bombarded with messages this was the norm now what was strange about this is that this man's speeches and directions for the whole world had to do with new times upon us as human beings new directives for global peace and the need to give up current citizenship for world citizenship world citizenship setting the stage hi right, guys remember when uh, I remember the good old days when there wasn't TVs in every restaurant and every mall and meeting place like he said but now it's all set up right it's hard to get away from a TV set you're even pumping gas they're showing shoving commercials in your face right the gas pump <laughs> and now they run this text alert that can go across all devices you started off small just TV sets more devices more networks it's just a big stage being set up by this one world leader that's what it was talk that's all I'm talking about anyways hope you like this split video have a blessed day copy like and share